Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words, and we are grateful for the privilege to read and to study God's word so that we can be edified and so that we can be informed and closer drawn to God through his word. Now this morning we are told that God is a God of rest. In the reading this morning, we learned that work is a natural part of our existence because God made it that way. But we also understand that along with work, there must come a time when you also rest from work. And so in Genesis 2, we learn that God, after creating this world in six days, he did what? He created the seventh day and did what? And he rested on the seventh day. So he says what? When the earth and the heavens, they were finished. When God finished his creative work, he rested on the seventh day from all that work. Now he says that the seventh day, he did what? He sanctified it. Now what does it mean to sanctify something? It means that you set it aside for holy use. So it therefore means that the Sabbath, is for what holy use and what is that holy use that it is set aside for to offer worship to the god of creation amen do we understand that and so the lord said that he blessed the seventh day and so there's a blessing that is poured out on the sabbath or on the seventh day that is not on the other days not saying now that the other days are cursed but what i'm saying is that there's a special blessing that is built in to the sabbath and it is always there but in order for you to benefit from that full blessing you and i must keep the sabbath or we must be obedient to god's instruction now the question i will ask you when God rested on the seventh day, was it that he was tired from the work that he was doing in the other six days? Surely not, because God does not get tired. And so his resting was an example to us to help us to understand the benefit of resting from labor, physical labor, and also experiencing the joy of spiritual rest. In him so it's a twofold rest you rest from physical work and also the spiritual rest meaning that you come and you are soaking up the blessing offering God thanksgiving praising his name shutting out all the noise of the world and lock in your focus on God and all that he has done for you and for me. And so many are of the belief that the Sabbath was something that was given to the Jews on Mount Sinai. But no, here we can clearly see that the Sabbath was there long before the Jews came up on the scene or before the Jews were even called Jews. But along the way, they somehow forgot and God did what? Because he doesn't want us to forget it anymore. And because he wants his people to follow his instruction and to walk in obedience with him. He called Moses up on the mountain and he gave them the commandments again. Which included the fourth commandment, the Sabbath. And so 
I am not saying that you must only worship on the Sabbath day either because a true Christian worship every day. But the Sabbath is a day that is set aside by God and that is His day. And so, whether or not you and I worship on Sunday to Friday, the Sabbath, you and I must give that to God because what? He asked it. He asked of us to do so. And that is why he says, remember what? The Sabbath day to keep it holy. And I know the whole idea of the Sabbath is a big deal in Christendom. And a lot of people think that it is somehow done away with and it caused all kind of controversy. But I, one thing I always tell folks that the word of God does not contradict itself. And if you truly want to understand and to know what the word of God says, all you have to do is open up your hearts and the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, will reveal to you those things that you and I need to know. And so as for me and my house, as Joshua said, we will follow this principle of being obedient to the keeping of the Sabbath. And so if I alone have to stand, so be it. But let us not be ignorant of this truth because God, as he reveals to us the truth and light, he expects us to walk in it. And the truth is that God is so wise in the way how he constructs this thing because Think about it. After you have gone through those six days and you have worked your back off and you are so exhausted, you know, all of the ups and downs that you had to go through during those six days, especially from Monday to Friday, those five days, your body is so run down and drained. You need this physical rest and this spiritual rest. And researchers have even studied and come to the conclusion that those who have gone through the week of that toiling and the laboring, when they give their body time to recuperate, when they, they, they enjoy the Sabbath rest, when they keep the Sabbath rest, their body recuperates in such a way that they are energized both physically and spiritually and you yourself can testify of that when you have done a hard day work and you go to your bed in the night and you sleep don't you wake up in the morning refreshed ready for the next day no if you did not get any rest in the night you wake up in the morning and you're probably cranky you're still exhausted and you are not ready for the day because what? Your body has not recuperated from the day before. The Sabbath serve as an antidote to help us to survive in this cruel world. And this world where we always have to be on the go, on the go, on the go. So the Sabbaths help us to slow down. And so friends, as we take God's word and as we seek to apply the principle of rest and not just rest but the sabbath rest may we through these experiences experience the love of god and may we truly be recuperated may we truly be restored and may we be revived and may we rejoice to know that god has done this wonderful thing for us because he loves us and want to spend time with us. May God continue to bless you and may God continue to keep you and me. Amen.